You've heard of the Hound of the Baskervilles, the Beast of Bodmin Moor, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, the old crazy peddler woman from Staines, but now a new creature has turned up in this leafy corner of Surrey slash Berkshire. The Windsor Wanderer. There's a very large duck and or grebe that's in the middle of that lake. I don't know what it is. It's a dog. Oh my dear. Oh look. And some have likened it to a large Labrador. Others a cow. Others a mongoose. But all have had one thing in common. They describe the creature's strength as being an unparalleled, violent force of nature. I, a man of moderate size and build, find it hard to... No. This creature will stop at nothing to eat anything. Reports we have found suggest that it's eaten polo ponies, pheasants, rabbits, foxes, cats, badgers, the array of deer that we have here in the deer park, tramps, old people, even the odd royal has disappeared, people claim, due to this creature. It's believed that the creature was last spotted down in the gully to my right. I've been warned by at least three people not to go in. There's a high chance of attack by the creature, but more importantly, tetanus from the rusty metal that's been thrown over the bridge behind me. I'm going to have to roll my trousers up. The park rangers have told me that sounds of wailing, moaning, howling and growling have all been found coming from within the undercarriage of this bridge. Others have disputed the sounds as being the cries of a lonely tramp or the moans of an expensive prostitute. But I think it's safe to say that there's more to this than meets the eye. The strange damage to the bridge. The smell of urine and faecal matter says to me, this isn't your average Joe. This isn't a man who's lost everything due to gambling debts and the crash in the economy. This is a monster. A monster that we need to fight. A monster that we need to find and that needs to be stopped before Her Majesty, a mile down that road, gets gobbled up for breakfast. The statue behind me stands as a symbol of triumph in the face of danger. Let us hope that the people that live in this county can also triumph in the face of the very present danger that lurks around these parts. I intend to find the danger and put a stop to it myself and maybe I will have a statue of myself in one to two hundred years of me dressed in an outfit from long before I was alive riding a horse with an equally terrifying face. After what seems an eternity, our mission has finally come to its climax. Thanks to tip-offs from park wardens, a man called Barry who I met at the ice cream kiosk, we believe we have found the lair of the Windsor Wanderer in this shady underpass to my right. I intend to go in unarmed and hopefully this will be documented and sent back home to my family if I do not make it out. But I feel that this, this creature that has terrorized, terrorized Berkshire for, for, for a good, good week now deserves to be shown to the public. If my passing is, is a means for the government to act, then I feel I have, I have done my duty as a civilian, and an upstanding member of the community, and a post, a post-hostumous, Posthumous, posthumous. What do you say after you die? Posthumous. Apparently, it's posthumous. A posthumous CBE, OBE, or KBE. 
would be enough to say I'd done a job well done. As you can see, there's fuck all here. There's nothing. There's not even, it's not even shit. There's not even, there's not even excrement. There is no excrement. If anything, I would have loved excrement. Loads of it. What is this? BBC, send me out on an expedition and I get this, this. Tip off, tip off that there was some form of rabid, crazy animal, beast, member of the public doing God knows what. And just, just look, look, there's nothing. 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 Words don't cover it. Words do not... E I'm going back to ITV.